All right, hello anatomy and physiology students. This is just a quick review of skeletal tissues, and their histology. Please be sure you're using the wish list to see exactly the things I would like you to know if you're going to be looking at this video. So starting with uh, chyla cartilage, hyaline cartilage, this is, um, as you can see, a cross section across the trachea, the tube that takes air down to the lungs. The air would be running through here, and this is cutting across the tube. If you remember, that's that pseudostratified and ciliated epithelium on the inner surface of the trachea, but most of it, the thickness is made up of hyaline cartilage, which we can see more close up in the next slide. So there you can see, there's that inner epithelial pseudostratified ciliated epithelial layer, and there's the hyaline cartilage with its typical look of almost like a watery matrix, which in fact it is very watery, and the cells inside their lacunae, um, kind of stack of pancake-like cells inside their lacunae, or even closer up, there you can see that watery matrix background, and look at the nice lacunae with some pancake-shaped or kind of stacked cells inside there. I think the next one, also hyaline cartilage, very watery matrix. And look at the nice stacks of pancakes, the cells inside, like stacks of pancakes inside their lacunae in the hyaline cartilage. This is now um, fibrocartilage, where you can see, a, again, a very watery matrix, a lot of lacunae with cells. This is low power. Looking at the pubic symphysis in this case, and you can kind of see the fibers in the background. If you see up close, then you can much more clearly see that there's now some distinct collagen fibers. Hyaline cartilage does have some collagen in it, but you don't see the distinct fibers like that. Other than that, they look pretty similar. The cells, pancake-like cells, stacked inside their um, lacunae. This is now elastic cartilage, which has a very different look to it, a lot more cells. Um, the elastic fibers tend to stain with a different stain that's a lot darker, and there's a lot more of them. If you look up close, there you can see, but you still have the lacunae with the pancake-shaped cells stacked inside there, but a lot of the thin, um, sort of um, uh, scattered elastic fibers throughout the matrix. Okay, this is now going on to bony tissue, and here you can see the... Um, the osteons, remember, or haversion systems is this whole round piece here with the central canal and the layers of bone around it, the lamellae or layers of bone. If we then see up close, again, you can see the central canal with the lamellae of bone, the layers of bone around it. The whole thing is called um, a osteone or haversion system. And in those little dark spaces, those are called lacunae again, and inside them are going to be in life the osteocytes, the little waiting cells that detect bony um, you know, microfractures. Even more up close, again, just one big osteone on the slide, or, and there's the central canal with the layers of bone laid around it, and you can really nicely see these lacunae where the osteocytes would be sitting in life. Okay, this is now... Um, this is showing how bone forms in cartilage, that process of endochondral ossification. And so you have some blood vessels coming through here, and you have these plates of bone or trabeculae, as we've called them, being laid down around the blood vessels. You're starting to get osteocytes in their lacunae, and there's a blood vessel. Um, this is another view of that, where again, you can see a big trabecular plate of bone. You can see really nicely some of the um, osteoblasts that might bore away at the bone or fix, you know, make sure that it's just as it should be. And the osteoclasts are the cells that make new bone. And there's the osteocytes in their lacunae. And then this whole thing would be a trabecular plate. So nice view of that. Finally, um, this is a this is actually a cut down the limb, lengthwise during the limb of a developing embryo, perhaps a rat or a chicken or a mouse. And you can see the outline of the entire bone here, that shape of that long bone. And then you can see it's mostly cartilage. So you've got the cartilaginous epiphyses at both ends, but the diaphysis has started to ossify in its interior, that primary, primary ossification. And you're also getting ossification at the... Um, at the um, at the growth plate, um, the epiphyseal growth plate, and so I think we'll see that a little more up close. Here's the nice watery hyaline cartilage with its typical stacks of cells. No blood vessels in cartilage because it's so watery, the nutrients just diffuse in. But here's where the blood vessels are starting to invade into the cartilage. And you can see where you get blood vessels, you start to get those trabeculae or those layers of bone forming around it that will eventually form the lamellae of a haversion system. So a really nice view of that almost invasion or the way in which you get endochondral inside the cartilage, ossification, bony formation. So that's a nice view of that. 
Okay, that's it for skeletal tissues. Again, I remind you to use your wish list as you're looking at these um, slides, and uh, have a good day.